2 Kings 15 lays out years of painful history for Israel and the southern kingdom. And if history isn't your thing, I understand. Hang in there, continue studying it, and hopefully learning from it. In a 1948 speech to the British House of Commons, Winston Churchill said, those that fail to learn from history, they're doomed to repeat it. If Israel was to study their history, what would be the greatest lesson to learn in order not to repeat it? Well, well, this chapter starts and finishes with a king from Judah, Azariah and Jotham. We're told that they both did what was right in the sight of the Lord. However, the high places were not removed, and this led the people to sin against the Lord. Now, sandwiched between these two kings were five kings from the northern kingdom, Zechariah, Shalom, Menahem, Pekahiah, and Pekah. All five of these were evil kings, either by brutal rule, assassination, or were treasonous, selling Israel out to the Assyrians. But one common thread of evil is found running through all seven of these kings from chapter 15. The worship in the high places, or the embracing of other gods, the sins of Jeroboam. They worshiped them instead of God. When Israel later came back into the land after exile, it's clear, at least from the outside, that they never repeated this sin. They apparently learned something. However, by the time Jesus arrived, Israel had refined their high places and worship of other gods like we so often see today. No longer did they embrace an idol or Baal-like image, but they held money up in high, in a high place in their lives. Money, status, and self-righteousness had replaced the high places of old. Israel was expected to come to the temple to worship the true and living God, not go to some high places and lift up idols. Likewise, we are to center our hearts upon the Lord, come to the living God through Jesus, where we find grace in our time of need. May we each learn from our wicked past and not repeat it. May we each recognize the high places in our lives, the things that we hold up before the Lord, and may we abandon them. You are greatly loved, so go and greatly love.